Hi everyone I hope you all are doing good today we are going to discuss the problem longest substring with k unique characters and it's a variation of the last discussed problem statement which was longest substring with at most k distinct characters and the link of the last video tutorial is present in the description box so let's uh, discuss the problem statement so in this problem we have given a string and we have to find the length of the longest substring that has exactly k unique characters and if there is no possible substring then we have to uh, print minus 1 so uh, let's understand this problem statement through multiple examples so in the first example we have given a string and also we have given the value of k which is 2 so we have to find the longest substring which has exactly two unique characters so let's form few substrings so first is fr it has two unique characters in this substring the second we can form as frf then uh, the third one which we can form is frff uh, then another substring we can form is rff the next one is let's say fc and we form cd so in in all these substring we have exactly two unique characters and out of all these this is the longest substring and its length is 4 so we return 4 here now let's move to the example 2 so in this we have given the string and the value of k so we have to find the length of the longest substring that has exactly three unique characters so what all substring we can form here one is p m m e and m so in this substring we have only three unique character exactly three unique character then another one we can form is m m e m i then uh, the next one we can form here is m e m i and the last one is e m i so out of all these substring these two substring have equal uh, length and which is five so we have written the length of the longest substring is 5 which has exactly three unique characters now let's move to the example third in which the string is java and uh, the value of k is 5 so here uh, in this string we only have four unique characters so there is no way to find a substring that has exactly five unique characters so we return minus one so this is the problem statement and let's discuss how we can solve this problem efficiently we can solve this problem efficiently using sliding window so the idea here is uh, to take two pointers let's say start and end so i am writing s for start and e for end so uh, let's declare these two pointers start and end and initially both will point to the 0th index or you can say the starting index of a string and let's keep start pointer as it is and move end pointer till the size of unique character in the window is less than k right so so we have to find the longest substring which has exactly two unique characters so let's form a window in which uh, the uh, size of unique character is exactly equal to the value of k and uh, for tracking uh, the unique character in a window uh, we need additional data structure and here i am using hash map so if you are not familiar with the hash map in hash map we keep key and value pair right and in our case the key is the character and value is its count and 
the key in a hash map is always unique so don't worry if you are not uh, able to connect all these things uh, you will easily understand when i uh, dry run uh, by using this string and the value of k and also at each step we have to track uh, the maximum count and when we have to track the maximum count when the uh, unique character in a window is exactly equal to the value of k because we have to find the longest substring which has exactly k unique characters so now let's uh, understand how we can uh, solve this problem using this sliding window technique so we have declared two pointer start and end initially both will point to the zeroth index of a string and we keep the start pointer as it is and move the end pointer so let's say the first uh, char uh, the character present at zeroth index is f so what we do is we first check whether this character is present in a hash map if it is not we take this character and its count which is one and put them in a hash map right and we move the end pointer here so also we check the unique character present in a hash map does not exe exceed the value of k so here the unique character count is one and the value of k is two so the next character is r so again r is not present in a hash map so let's put them in a map with key as a character and value as its count and increment the value of end pointer now end pointer will point at this index until now uh, the unique character count and k so i mean uh, the unique character count does not exceed the value of k so the next character is f and we check in a hash map if this character is already present yes it's present so take its previous value add one to it now we have find two occurrences of f right and the unique character count is still two now let's move the end pointer and at this point i mean at this index the character is f so f is already present in the hash map let's take uh, the current value of this key f and add one to it and put in a hash map so the new value is three and again so the value is two uh, the unique character count is two which does not exceed the value of k and one more thing here so we form this window till this point where uh, the condition uh, the condition is we have to find the length of the longest substring which has exactly k unique characters so it does not violate in this window matlab we have exactly two unique characters so whenever we have the unique character count is equal to k we also have to track the max count found so far so here the max count is let's say the previous value of max count so comma and minus start plus one so in window when we have two unique characters let's say first when we found this fr till at this point so we have the value of initial value of max count is minus one this at this point the value of end is one then the start is zero plus one so at this point between these two two was the max count now when the end pointer reaches at this point so here again so the value of end point uh, so max count is 2 end pointer is at second index then plus 1 so between these this is 3 and again at this point the value of max count will be updated which is 4 now after that let's move the end pointer which points at this index c so when it points to this index we check whether c is present in a hash map no it's not present in a hash map 
so let's put c and its count which is one now when we check the condition the unique character in this map is three which is greater than the value of k so at this point we have to keep end pointer as it is and move the start pointer and when we move the start pointer we have to do uh, two things one is we take the character present at this index and we check in a hash map uh, what's uh, what's the count against this character so the count against this character is three so let's decrement its value because we are removing this character from our window uh, when we included the value of uh, when we included this character c it violates uh, the constraint which is given in a problem statement so we have to remove this f so if its count is one we directly remove from the hash map but we have found its three occurrences so we have to decrement its count so the new count is two so let's update its new count two and move the start pointer here right so now at this point again if you see we have three unique character f r c so we have to repeat this step until in our window we have exactly two unique characters so this is r and for r we have only one occurrences one occurrence so we can directly remove this from a hash map and move the start pointer at this point so now start will point at this index so if you see in this window we have exactly two unique characters so now we can move this end pointer so in next step we move the end pointer and end will point at this index so we check d d is not present in a hash map so we put let me write here d and its count which is one so if we consider this window then again it violates the constant because the unique character count is three so what we have to do we have to move the start pointer and start removing character from a window till it satisfy the condition so the character present at this index is f and its count is one so let me put one here and move the start pointer again if you see it's violating the condition and we have to move the start pointer and we have to remove the character present at this index from the hash map so now its count is one we can simply remove this character from this window and let's move the start pointer here so start pointer move here so now we have in this window we have exactly two unique characters and uh, so in next step we have to increment the value of end pointer but it reaches at the end so we can't move the end pointer further so it came out of this loop and till now the maximum count the maximum longest string we have found uh, it uh, the length of that substring is I mean the longest substring we have found uh, the length of that substring is 4 so we return 4 so this is the uh, logic and this is how uh, you can solve using a sliding window so let's see the code so in the code here I have declared a hash map uh, and it's uh, in hash map uh, we are storing character and its count so for key the data type is character and for value the data type is a string then here i have declared two uh, variable one is to keep track of max count its initial value is minus one and this start and end pointer to form the dynamic window to track as we are keeping a start pointer as it is and moving end pointer till it satisfy the condition and then uh, we move the start pointer now in this loop what we are doing is we are moving the end pointer we are taking the character and we put them in a hash map and the condition is so for
for key if it is already present in a hash map then take its previous count else keep the default value zero and add one to it and this while loop so basically what this does is if at any point of time uh, so in a window which we are forming if the unique character count is greater than the value of k as key is always unique in a hash map if it is greater than k then take the character which is present at start index if its count is exactly one then remove from a hash map else decrement its count which i have explained here and increment the value of start pointer and repeat this step until it's equal to the value of k and now in this condition because we have to find the longest substring which has exactly k unique character so this condition if the unique character count is equal to the value of k then keep track of the maximum count and here we are returning the maximum count now let's talk about its time and space complexity so the time complexity is big o of n and why it's n because if you see the outer for loop runs for all characters and the inner while loop process each character only once so you can write them as o n plus n which we can say i mean so instead of o to n we can write them as o n right and its a space complexity is o big o of k because at any point of time we are storing k plus 1 character in a map so this is that's it for this video tutorial and please like and subscribe our youtube channel and share this video with your friends colleagues and Please subscribe our YouTube channel so that whenever I upload new videos, you will get the notification. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Thank you.